Remember the massive gaming monitor we saw at CES, the 57-inch behemoth that Samsung announced? Well, it's finally coming in October and I got to spend some time gaming with this monitor. It's not a review, but it's just a more in-depth look of what this is. This is the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9 57. A 57 inch gaming monitor and honestly this thing is massive think of it as two 32 inch 4k monitors slapped together and it just takes up a lot of space but i absolutely love the way it looks and feels i got a game and play a bunch of games that i do like and i have to say it cuts straight to the point so there is no built-in speaker i wish there was but it's just not there so that's something to take note it also has no remote control which is kind of a blessing the way Samsung's remotes kind of work with their monitors. It simply uses a button at the bottom for navigation and you can go and see all that cool menu stuff. But what does this monitor bring to the table? It's a mini LED monitor, refresh rate of 240 hertz, one millisecond response time, and games look absolutely gorgeous on this thing. Now you can connect it with a varied amount of ports at the back with a brand new DisplayPort 2.1 and three HDMI 2.1s as well, as well as a USB hub. So you've got all the connectivity you want to. Now, speaking of lighting, you've got lighting across this thing with two lights either edge of the monitor and of course the ring light at the back. This also supports Versa mounting. So if you want to mount this monitor, you just got to find the right arm to actually hold this so it doesn't actually tilt down. Now, the gaming experience on this is impressive. Now, and, and that depends on what games will support such a wide aspect ratio. I got to play uh, the new uh, Need for Speed. That looked pretty good. I didn't realize that game actually looked that good and it was fun to play. It's more arcade in terms of feel, but a great experience and you could see how well the world looked on this. And then Flight Simulator, oh my God. Flying around in New York, looking at New Jersey and seeing that massive cloud air. Seriously, tell me, why isn't it that you can't see New Jersey and it's just a massive wall of, you know, this huge storm coming over? Come on, guys, don't do New Jersey dirty like that. Anyway, the game looked great, it played well, and it just looked absolutely gorgeous. And of course, some Call of Duty, as you would expect, I did play some uh, Warzone, it was almost smooth. Again, that aspect ratio is something you might wanna get used to, but it works out really well. Now, the monitor also has some pretty cool features in there as well. You do have kind of picture in picture, so you can have, of course, the game as just one monitor and just resize it. And you can also have uh, maybe another device plugged in and connected to it. So again, you can do that with this monitor, but the real estate for gaming experience is something for you to definitely experience. Now, when it comes to pricing, whew, this is an expensive bad boy. It is $2,499 and pre-order start, well, today when you're watching this video. Now, Samsung is offering a $500 credit when you buy this monitor, meaning $500 to buy something else from the Samsung store. So, mm, I don't know if that's worth it for you, but in terms of the experience, I definitely enjoyed this. And I have to say, this is something just worth experiencing. Now, let me know what you think about this monitor, or if you're thinking of something else like the Odyssey G8, which we covered here on the channel, leave your thoughts down below, and also just check out the links for any of those monitors as well. This is Thunder E saying thank you, and always enjoy your entertainment.